So this is Carter Jones. He rides with Bissell Pro Cycling, and he's joining us after Stage 5 of the USA Pro Cycling Challenge in Colorado. So, Carter, you've been putting in work, as they say, all week. Can you tell me how you're feeling? Oh, I'm pretty pretty toast at the moment. Um, yeah, we were in the, I was in the break yesterday, but uh, we were calling before the TV coverage came on, unfortunately. <laughs> and, uh, you know, then again today. So it's been, it's been a tough two days, and, you know, all the days before that were difficult, to say the least. Now, is your body adjusted to that altitude? No. there's. I've decided that there's no adjusting to that altitude. Um, you know, I live in Boulder, so you know, I live at an altitude, but you know, anything over eight, you, know, you can kind of tell the difference. And then when we're racing at 10 or up some speed, it's just cool. <laughs> you know, it's brutal up there. So... So what's yeah, it like? No what's it like when you're in that break? I saw you out there, as, as a lot of America did. Um, are you on the limit right there, or do you still have a little bit more to go? Or I mean, you know, what happens in those situations? Oh, so today, I mean, I was on the limit uh, going up Hoosier Pass to get into the break. You know, it was we went hard up, you know, to establish our the break. Uh, but after that, you know, it's kind of more. Uh, a slow beating, you know, you're not, you're not on your limit, but you're riding a good, good clip. You, know, you got to be out there for, you know, three and a half hours. I think we were out there today before we got caught. Right. So you can't, you can't be killing yourself. Um, and then, I mean, you also want to, you know, kind of time it so you can ramp it up again at the end when they think they're about to catch you. <laughs> right. But, uh, and hopefully you guys stay away, cool. right? Yeah, Exactly. So what are we going to expect from you out of uh, the next couple of days? Oh, well, I mean, tomorrow's the Boulder stage. <laughs> so I live in Boulder, and I'd, yeah, I'd like to be in the break again, but I think it's going to be pretty a pretty difficult day to make the break. Um, I'm going to give it my best and uh, not hang on as long as I can, and then hopefully the lights feel good on the TT, or for the TT on Sunday. Um, we haven't done a time trial at this level uh, before where I've been feeling good. So I'd like to see how I can go. Awesome. Well, how are the, the newer guys on the team, like Kyer and uh, Schmoltz doing? Well, Kyer, Kyer's riding great. Um, you know, he was in the break with me yesterday over Independence, uh, so that was a tough one to get into as well. Um, Schmaltz, he had a rough day on the uh, Gunnison to Aspen day, and he did not finish, didn't unfortunately. Finish. But uh, I mean, he's he's been pretty good too. You know, he just did he did Utah before this as well, and you know, Utah, Colorado. That's a it's a big block of racing there, especially with how we raced. You know, the first couple of days of Colorado. Yeah, I guess it's all learning experience at some level. So how does it feel when you get into the, these moves and you look to your right and you see, you know? A big hitter, a world player, pedaling next to you. Is it uh, is it a good feeling? Or are you like, wow, I can't believe I'm I'm here right now. I know you're a young, um, up and coming guy, but it still must be surreal when you look to your left or right and you see Levi and Cadell and these big name riders. Oh yeah, it's definitely definitely cool. Um, I mean, for the breakaways, it's good and it's bad you know yesterday we we're out there and then peter stetno bridged up you know he's a potential gc threat so that kind of doomed us <laughs> so i was like oh thanks pete <laughs> but uh i mean today with nibali you know he um he's a bit down so that was, that was pretty cool especially you know none of the descents were technical that would have been a cool experience but uh no, it's, it's definitely a good experience and you know it gets you riding at that top level Right. Now, I have another question. A lot of these guys are used to wearing race radios while they're riding. Um, what's that? Has there been any chatter in the Peloton about that or not about that? No. No, I mean, you know, they're used to it for the really big races, but most of the races they do, they don't have them. Um, yeah, no, it's not bad. I mean, the only thing is the time gaps can sometimes be a bit confusing. You know, like, Today they were good, but we didn't get a time split until like, you know, 50K into the stage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
That's when a so, race I mean, radio would come in handy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I, but we, we can get time gaps from the car. Um, but yesterday, there was a point where, you know, the motor pulls up next to us, and he's like, oh, you guys have five and a half minutes. And I'm like, okay, that's good. And he pulls up next to us literally, you know, a kilometer later, and he's like, you guys have two minutes. <laughs> like, oh, they took three and a half minutes out of us, and... <laughs> in 1K, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I've been in so, these races. frustrating, but, you know, something you do about it. Yeah, it's a, it's an exciting experience. Well, I wish you luck through the rest of the weekend. And as always, I really appreciate you checking in with us here. Um, it gives us a little bit of insight to how you're doing. And, you know, and just keep putting in that work, man. We're loving to root for you and and watch you do it. So, um, thanks for joining us on Cycling Illustrated.